Yes, Knox County's health department cannot connect any COVID-19 clusters to bars, so why go ahead now with the curfew expanded last night by the Board of Health? That is the question we wanted answered. What we heard from the health department, there are arguments here and around the country to back up such a move. There are areas that have the regulations in place that limit those activities, and they have seen their numbers drop after those um, regulations have been put into place. We have absolutely had cases that tell us that they are going to bars and restaurants and doing all those things. Now, with the 11 p.m. curfew set to affect bars and restaurants that serve alcohol starting tomorrow night, Six On Your Side reporter Madison Keevy reached out to an expert asking, is this constitutional? It's a question that comes up every time the Knox County Board of Health makes a change. Think back to the first closures of bars and restaurants back in March and April, then the county mask mandate, and now this curfew. Is it constitutional? Sometimes it really does just depend on who you ask. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi, thank Sound you so much. Sound familiar? Probably, if you've been on Zoom lately. And it won't be the only Groundhog Day moment we have in this conversation. When we talk to the constitutionality of a mandate like this, how do you explain to people that this is or, or isn't? That's actually the right answer. It is or it isn't. The government has a lot of power in dealing with a crisis like a pandemic to exercise a lot of discretion. Everything they do has to be reasonably related to a legitimate governmental purpose. Now, controlling the spread of a disease is obviously a legitimate governmental purpose. This is Glenn Reynolds. He's a professor of law. He says there's more flexibility for the government to make decisions because we're in a crisis. The Constitution is sort of the backstop to keep the government from doing things that are dangerous or arbitrary or oppressive. Uh, but the, the front end of that is really the political process, and it's people communicating to their political leaders what they want, and it's also political leaders exercising some independent judgment. We've seen the debate during Board of Health meetings between elected leaders and appointed medical professionals. Things that you could do in good faith in March when we didn't know anything are things that now really might not be reasonable because we know a lot more. Just doing the same thing over and over again is maybe not the right approach. Maybe they need to be thinking out of the box about ways to focus on this. So yeah, it might feel like Groundhog Day, the same question asked over and over with a virus that just hasn't gone away. Well, we also talked about that letter from bar and restaurant owners calling on leaders to hold off on the curfew decision. Reynolds says he expects to see more lawsuits or lawsuits in general based on what he knows about other recent cases like it. Reynolds thinks a judge would likely side with owners who don't believe the government can limit the number of people at their business.